602, your local election headquarters tracking developments in the race for the White House. Former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee once again throwing his hat into the ring to become the nation's next president. This time as a libertarian candidate, it's Chafee's second presidential run. He ran as a Democrat four years ago. And I'm News News reporter Brandon Truitt live in our control room with more details on his plans. Hey, Patrick Danielle, good morning. Well, the paperwork officially filed just yesterday. Lincoln Chafee for president, now based out of Wyoming. That is where he and his wife currently live. This is just the latest move for Chafee. The former senator turned governor turned presidential candidate has changed his party before, going from a Republican senator to independent governor and Democratic presidential candidate. Now, when we asked for him for a comment, Chafee uh, did not respond for this most recent run. Some Democrats, though, have expressed concern. A Chafee run could pull votes away from the Democratic ticket, like Gary Johnson did in 2016, earning the most votes of any Libertarian candidate. It can be a lot to follow, but here's a website link to the filing. It says at LincolnChafeeForPresident.com, uh, there's little information, just words, uh, 30 years, zero scandals. To the right, there's a place to donate to his campaign, but no message or videos as of yet. Right now, Chafee does not have any campaign stops planned. Uh, we know he's about one of New nearly a dozen or so candidates who are running as a libertarian, that party having its convention in May. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.